Listen up, Raiders. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today, Collectible Wars. We thought we'd do an interesting one. Because this was one I thought was kind of cool. And uh, I thought it would bring about good discussion until we sat here and actually looked it up on eBay. Because <laughs> I was like, I was going off what I paid for stuff. So what we were going to do, and I guess what we'll start with, but we'll toss in the other outlier no, no, here in a no. minute. We're doing this versus that. So what we have here is the NECA face hugger prop that you could have bought from stores. Could have uh, bought it individually. Mine one came one with scale. the egg. He came with the egg. I think we should toss the egg into this discussion because I think if you're going by eBay price, it makes things way more interesting. But when this first came out, I think it was about 110 bucks that, by uh, itself. Yes. I want to say it was about 100 bucks. And then what I have here is the... I probably should look it back up to make... It'll be in the title if I'm saying it wrong. But it's Hollycon? A uh, vinyl model kit of the Chestburster. A uh, one-to-one -one scale. I don't understand. How does... Uh, I guess... It's about this... Because you figure if you stretched it out, your tail's almost as long as mine. Yeah, never It's like mind. slightly shorter. Never mind. I guess it makes um, sense. But this is a model kit. So this... You actually have to put together. Um, I haven't glued it yet because, for the most part, it stays together pretty well intact without it. Because it almost goes together kind of like a uh, like an X Plus Godzilla. Like you just kind of like pop the pieces in, and you're good. Unlike the Queen one, where I'm, I have it put together, but I have to sculpt some parts to fill in gaps. Uh, this guy came pretty much once you cut the vinyl out and hook it together, which. You have to cut vinyl off of it and put it together beforehand to get it into this shape. And then paint it, seal it, yada, yada, yada. Um, but this guy, I got in a lot with uh, the queen and the dog. And it was about, I think she paid 90 bucks for all three. Finding out on eBay, this thing by itself goes on average about a hundred bucks. <laughs> so the, the debate was going to be which do we think we should be buying? Is uh the chip, the face hugger here because it's already pre-made? Pre it's already pre-made. It's already been painted. You're essentially good to go. Or buying a vinyl model kit, putting it together, and painting it yourself. Now the argument was, you know, he got ninety bucks for all three of them. Eh, 30, 40 bucks. That's yeah, I was thinking bad. that. That's, but you have to, like, so it's 30 bucks, but you have to put work into it. Yeah. To make it look better than that. Because as you can see, we'll show close ups for, let you guys see a better look at it. But this one, I painted myself. Uh, I decided to make it clean instead of the bloody look like you see it in the first aliens. Because technically, this is, I think it's supposed to be aliens. Even though you don't really see them. But this is essentially like the way the coloring will look if it was by itself without the bloody effect. I might still have the bloody effect over time. But for the most part, it's done. So it's shiny. It's got the like skin tone coloring. Because that's kind of what you see with the red highlights. Red and orange highlights. That thing uh, is mainly skin tone. But you do get some pinkish hues underneath. I'll steal it from our nose so you guys can see. But for the most part... Stop putting your vagina on camera, Steve. <laughs> I know nice. you're trying it to has make money. some black here to show off the highlights for it. Then it has wires so you can actually bend the, fin bend the fingers on the tail. Excuse me. <laughs> you know what the thumbnail is going to be, right, Steve? We're going to find a hot chick. And we're going to find a hot chick with her legs spreading. And this will be between her legs. Yeah, get that crotch shot. Get the views. Get the views. I think we finally have a job for Rochelle. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> She could be our thumbnail girl. <laughs> anyway, and then we'll have a pic. And we'll have a thumbnail of a guy standing with this between his legs, because it's perfect, just like this. Yes, I think it's gonna be how I normally do them. Oh, <laughs> you're no fun, standing. Steve. I don't want to get into money ties from the thumbnail because of the virus. They're not doing manual reviews right now, so if it gets taken down, it gets taken down. Woo. So, gotta keep it safe. Now, I think I figured out a argument between these. No, no. See, the thing was, if this was $30, this is a clear-cut winner because that's just stupid. Well, like, be, wow. But the problem is, is you got... Shh, 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 don't you, don't okay, you. Okay, sorry, I'm going to wrap. 
this was a clear cut winner. We looked it up on eBay. This guy sells for about 90 bucks. This guy sells for about 100 king dollars. So that means you gotta pay $100 and you gotta put in the effort of cutting it, cleaning it, and painting it. Now I will say, with this with this model kit in particular, it's honestly been one of the e it was one of the easier ones to make it about movie look right because for the most part you just had to do a wash over it. It was like a few washes in certain areas. Uh, the biggest part is you have to while you're assembling it paint the teeth individually and then assemble it because it's a lot harder to do once you get it full put together. No, that's not a problem for people like Steve. And then you gotta cut the vinyl. That's not, that's the scariest part because if you screw up cutting your vinyl, you screwed up putting your figure together afterwards. That's, that's more work at later. That's not a problem for people like Steve who do this stuff normally. People like average Joe, like me and you. No, that sucks. We don't do that. We just want our figures to already come pre-made, and we just. Though I will it. say, if you put this together and then just dunked in it like some red paint for blood, it probably look good still. No, because then it defeats the whole purpose. You want it to look like this. Well, yeah, but it was still like the red would go in the crevices. It would still tinge the vinyl. Because that's one thing I noticed painting this is uh, doing your washes. It will stain, but that kind of like helps with the look, if you will. Now, because of the same price, I had to put work into this. You didn't have to put work into that. So it kind of starts leaning me, leaning you guys towards buying this one. My issue is granted i had to put a little bit more work into it but this looks a little more accurate after i put the work into it than that one what the how is this not accurate like this right here this is i'd say detail wise it looks good but i oh. mean like coloring wise i don't think it's quite right for a face hugger only thing it's because to be honest it should be more akin to this in no. terms of in terms of color tone it'd be darker no it should be darker yes i agree the color tone is worse on this one but only reason why your looks better is because you had to paint it if you count the color that comes straight out the box eh, 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 no this one's kind of better because they actually put effort there is some black tones back here this is how it's supposed to be eh, sorry steve actually honestly i was just gonna toss this out there now this would be the one reason i would rather have this over that what is because that's made out of foam I'll give you that. That's probably my biggest thing, reason why I actually started looking into getting these instead of grabbing that one, is because, again, made out of foam. You can't, like, this room, perfect environment for it. It's not humid. Uh, it does get hot up here, but it doesn't get humid, so it's not going to really deteriorate the foam. So up here, you don't have to worry about that. I know, like, at my, at my <laughs> place, I have to have, like, dehumidifiers and stuff throughout my house because it tends to get a little moist. You know what I'm saying. And foam objects <laughs> wouldn't be able to survive there as well. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Steve. And I know for a lot of people that could be an issue because, like, I've had foam stuff made out of foam and latex over time. And stuff would just start deteriorating. Like, I had a Yoda <laughs> that the eyes deteriorated, so it's the eyelids disconnected. So it was always looking, even when it blinked. And it was weird. Because even on this, even with the perfect situation that we're in right now, it still has some issues on the tips. Granted, this thing's... God, we've had this since like the beginning of the channel. So it's about four years old. Yeah. And there's a few parts you can see where some of the latex is starting to peel off just a little bit with the paint. Now, you could touch that up, but then again... <laughs> then we start talking like, well, if you're touching it up, why not just get something and just... Spend a little extra time to touch it up and you're good to go. I like also, I wish it was shinier. No, actually, I like the uh, the texture on it. Like, it feels... Like, it feels real because it's latex. This still kind of gives you the real feel with the vinyl. Because it's a soft vinyl, so it's still squishy. It's squishy, but yeah, this to me, this is more like what I would prefer. It's got like a skin texture. Yeah. But again, because it's latex... You gotta worry about the deterioration problems. You gotta make sure you're keeping up with it. While this, I can just leave on my shelf and we're good. good to go. Yeah, I still prefer this one just because I was on a board with 100% this one because the price. But oh, $100, get out of here, people. Like, you're a Dutch, you want me to pay 100 bucks, same price as this? 
and put in this effort into it? Hell no. Yeah, you can let us know in the comment section below. Um, for let's just say for this, it's not a very clear cut winner. Like I personally, I would still lean towards this to, for your average Joe, just because you're gonna save a slight bit of money and time. No, great. It also depends. Like maybe if you want a chess burster, there's not really another option. A, a good court one to one scale. Like there's some like the resurrection chess burster will work. Like okay. But then again, like I said, I would just venture this. Plus, there's like bootlegs of this for like 20 bucks. Oh my god, they'll buy those. Oh. <laughs> so, if you want to put some work in, there is that option as well. No, um, you'd be putting But I mean, just like, material-wise, between the two. Average Joe, I would still go for this. If you know how to paint a little bit, this is a pretty simple job. To get this thing looking pretty good. Now, I also want to toss in... Mr. Eggy back here. Because for the low price of an extra $1,400, you too can have that egg that's behind us. You know the bootleg one don't even light up? Really? Also the bootleg one, you're still going to spend 600 bucks, which is more than what you paid for it originally. Which is crap, because the bootleg Stupid. one don't even have, like the, just... don't have the base on the bottom of it. It's just literally the egg. Like There's like no those veiny bases. There's no light. It's just like the outer egg. Yeah, and at that point, I would just—I think I'd rather just put the effort and start making my own. Like what the? F why would you charge six hundred plus dollars just for the outer shell? Now, if we uh, now if we we're gonna toss the entire package in, Randy, you get an egg, but this thing's fourteen hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> 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 and then the paint, like I spent. Hey, not even five bucks on paint. Well, I was going to say about five bucks to paint it. If we're going to like material wise, I probably spent maybe about a buck because I used quite a bit of a clear coat on it, which I had to make my own. I kind of wish I would have recorded me working on this thing. Yeah, you should have. But it was one of those, like I've had this for probably since Christmas and just been like slowly working on it. Then I fudged up the clear coat really bad on it originally because I used a spray can. And, uh, yeah, it just tacked up, wouldn't go away. So I had to wipe this entire thing down, retouch up the wash, the highlights, the outside of the teeth, and then resealed it with my own home brew. And now it's fine. Now it looks amazing. Right, but let us know in the comment section below which one you guys would prefer. And help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh,